Hello, survivors. How are you doing today? It's uh, Monday. I'm Joe Swerner. I'm your host. I'm going to be a, hopefully, a lethal survivor. Uh, I may or may not at the, at the current space. However, uh, we're going to get there. Um, all right. So, uh, without further ado, on our agenda today is to play a little bit of Lethal Zone. I'm going to be playing Lethal Difficulty, and apparently at first we're going to do, uh, we're going to do one where I die. Just to make sure that it happens. And then we're going to take one that I've actually uh, built up a little bit so that I don't die. Um, we've sorted through uh, 21 entries for our fearsome footage pack, by the way, folks. And I, I just want to thank everybody for putting that in there. Uh, it was it was super awesome to see you guys turn out for the seven riddles and the photography. Um, and it was just, it's just great. So uh, thank you for all of those entries. I've got a few favorites that I've chosen to show near the end of the stream. Uh, hopefully, I will not be crying uh, into my uh, into my microphone as as we talk about them by then. But uh, uh, without further ado, let's let's get on over to the guest. Let's get on over to the guest scene. Forget did I put it that way? That's the one. Oh, but somehow I turned that off. Yay! Great. Oh, dear. All of the things, all of the things are whacked out. All right, let's fix this real quick. Boop. Okay. Uh. All right. So there's Joe and there's Brant. Hi, Hello. Brant. All right, Joe B is our producer. Hello. Over here. He's our special guy. Um, and apparently, I didn't get the camera properly set up. And then, of course, our small person over here. Our lethal victim is uh, Brant Fitzgerald. Brant, would you like to say hello to I the people? I would like to say hello to the people. Thanks for joining us today. I appreciate it. Yes. Okay. Uh, and then now we're going to get away from this um, so that we're hopefully a little better off. Uh, how does this keep going on like that? All right. I don't understand what's going on. So I need to fix this nameplate number four real quick. Uh, right. Nameplate four, what's your size? I have no ego. I don't care if I'm small. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened with these NDI sources. They were so good on the on the front screen. So I assumed they would be so good everywhere else. But no, 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 I'm not. We're not good. Okay, so mm. let's just get the gameplay because I gotta I gotta put you on a timer for this. You gotta put me on yeah. a timer. All right. Uh, we'll go twelve hundred, and we'll go seven hundred, and we'll hope that that's good enough for Joe. And then we'll go boop, and there we go. Okay, not quite perfect, but. As close as we're going to get for these five seconds. Okay, to the gameplay. Uh, wherever that's going to be. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. All right. Angel, I am so ready to start the timer on this because I want Joe to buy me lunch. <laughs> well, but you said I said I was going to die. For... <laughs> player as long versus as world. Other Joe, that's fine with me. Player versus world says lethal zone equals play like Brant zone. Yes, actually. Die horribly. Yeah. Screaming. Yeah. Die horribly. Okay. All right. So, um, how quickly do you want me to try to die here, Brent? Just because I think because I think I can do it really fast. Yeah. I mean, it's it's going to be super easy for you to die. You if you don't sneak around, if you're not aware of your surroundings, you will just you'll run. Pain oh, I ended up at Providence Ridge. This might be hard, harder. Than uh -huh. I okay, wow. I'm starting. Oh, no, nope, not harder than I thought. There we go. Oh, look Perfect. at that. Look at that. Guess what, kids? Bloater. Where? Where's the bloater? I heard him say we've got one. Come on now. There it is. There we go. Come on. Come on, get him. We're at 30 seconds right now, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> he played me. Now he's not attacking me. 
Right, come on. There's your bloater. Wait, you're trying to die now? That's that's not how I wanted to earn lunch. I thought that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to try to find a way to die. One down. Immediately. <laughs> Well, and hopefully these other two can die if they're trying to. All right. Oh, oh, no. How many people do we have? Look at you. Those are just regular zombies. And then, of course, I die. And it puts you all the way there. All the way. Oh. So y'all noticed that uh, Lethal Zone has something in it that we haven't done before. We've included. The oh, hi. Um. We've included the uh, the blood plague freaks. Uh, what, my, what, what, what is this that thing spitting on me? <laughs> yeah, the process might be the problem with the audio as it might be the uh, I put I had the noise suppressor on it. I mean audio. oh might just be my computer two twenty total yeah there we go community Video and audio is yeah, I'm not sure. I restarted everything. I'm not sure. Um I can I can mute if you want to take that audio suppressor off, Joe. All right, that's that'll work. Let's see if that let helps. me find teams. Okay. I'm All right. Uh here. Filters, noise suppression, remove that. All right, is that better? Is that better audio? Okay, so that should be, it was the suppressor. Yeah, that's what I yeah, thought. For some reason, the office is super loud today. So Joe was trying to find a way to not have you guys listen to the HVAC system above my head. All right, so fresh survivors, it took me all of two, uh, two minutes and 20 seconds. Um, Granted, you were... You get rid of that one. being reckless. But, I mean, the fact is, you started in there, and you turned up where you're supposed to go, and there's a helmeted mm -hmm. blood feral right there waiting Imme for you. Immediately, a, a uh, plague feral was right there in front of me, and it takes three strikes to, uh, kill, to kill one. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. It, it might just be... Might just be something I need work to work on. Um, all right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna promote here. I have done a little bit. Uh, I have done a little bit here. And then let's see where that stuff in this. Caroline is all good. Hygiene standards. We want Deshaun over here. Um. Okay. I'm getting pinged a million ways to Sunday. So, um, Joe, since you're here, maybe you could uh, talk uh, talk a little bit about sort of like what, were, what the hopes were. For, you know? Okay. Well, I mean, uh, what were the what were the big what were the big uh, what were the big targets? What were we what were we trying to do with Lethal Zone? Well, I mean, so it, I mean, it comes back all the way back from when Green Zone shipped. Is as soon as we shipped Green Zone and it accomplished all of our goals, we heard that fan outcry just being like now we want something even harder and we knew that green zone i mean it met everybody up front with the newer players or players who were then interested in state of decay 2 or had too hard of a time uh getting into it originally with just standard there so we went on the easy side made it more inviting for people to come out and try because we knew difficulty sliders were coming and but the public response to green zone was now we need something harder 
So we knew that we had to fit this in somehow. So this is kind of our little love letter to the community of reaching out and proving to us that they really wanted something harder than that was there. And those ideas have been piling up for so long. So it was easy for us to take those things, implement the basics of what we were talking about, of making a more difficult uh, difficulty setting. So it was pretty much fed to us what we needed to do. It was a it was a love letter to everyone who's been playing for so long and has gotten really good at this game and really wanted to know what was next for the game and for themselves in terms of challenge. So we took it and threw it at you guys. We, I mean, we took everything in the kitchen sink that we could get our hands on and fit into our schedule and make it what it is now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right. So provide mostly like it's, Sort of a love letter for everybody. All right. So, what should every what what should players of all of all skill levels know about uh, lethal difficulty? And please let me know if the changes I'm making on the back end while I'm distracted are improving my audio at all. Sure. Uh, so, all players of skill levels, unless you're like a pure nightmare or almost pure nightmare player, you really should not try red zone as and expect to live, like. It's it's so difficult to go in with a scratch community alone unless you have a mastery of all the game's systems and the way that the game works. You are just in for a painful time and it's you're you're basically not going to live long enough to learn anything about about how you're playing and your knowledge of the game that unless you're highly skilled or ready for a real real challenge uh, you should probably stay out, maybe dip your toe in it, use those difficulty sliders to crank up one part of the game that you're comfortable with. But if you're an all green player, probably even an all standard player, maybe, maybe try taking up a slider. But as soon as you go all lethal, you are kind of done. So if you're in a huge, if you're in the mood for a huge challenge, give it a go, see how well you know the game. Uh, and that, that's kind of the challenge that I was looking for as I was kind of helping guide the team and we were getting feedback from our beta players and everything is how can we make this that next level difficulty for everybody? All right, sorry. I just ran into a, yeah. I just ran into a blur. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a real rough time. And I mean, you saw that pack of zombies like your car's already banged up. So well, it was. Oh, okay, was it? Yeah, and that's one of the other things that's about that that I really like about lethal difficulty is. Uh, right, so, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not gonna help them. Um, but the, the, the thing that I really like about lethal difficulty is that you have been prepared. That would have cost me a lot, uh, possibly even my entire life. Uh, you can go find your own friends. Sorry, soldiers. Can't even help me with these zombies right out of the face. Like, I mean, you, you don't want to be friends with the guy who stands on top of uh, grocery store dividers, anyways. Right? Uh, the audio is still breaking. Yeah, I, I'm afraid that it's just my machine. I have ordered a new computer, and it's going to be hot, and you'll get to see it next week. But for now, my processor might just be frying as we're still. Uh, let's see. Where else are we at? Oh, game has no challenges left for me. Uh, pretty close. I've been, I have been playing, much like a lot of our other beta players, I have been playing, uh, I've been playing Lethal Zone for a couple months now. Uh, in fact, as the, uh, as the measuring stick against which Lethal Zone was, um, sort of balanced, uh, it's, it's kind of a big deal. Um, so plague freaks, we've talked about plague infection rates. Um, have we, I guess, uh, are the, the plague infection rates are greatly increased. The audio is still choppy. Sorry. Um, no, there's a huge, there's a huge, those are huge change. Like that's not just blood freaks. Uh, it's also like how much in, infection you take from a single swipe. So you'll notice here, I'm going to kill this zombie he's giving me. Given me the evil eye. 
But I didn't take a lot of I didn't. The reason I didn't take a lot is because I've got Carol Point here who has uh, hygiene standards, so my entire community has 100 infection resistance. Um, we'll talk about how to join the beta. All right, now it's only on Steam, uh, but yeah, the timers are from, down from 10 minutes to five minutes. How quickly you get infected is uh, pretty pretty quick, as you can see from uh, the way that I got infected um, with the with the throwaway community. Let's see what else. What else are we dealing with here? Um, sorry, my brain's a little scattered. Um, and we've got some cool new injury types, although they don't necessarily they're 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 going to be something that comes along later uh, in life and makes things harder. Uh, Joe, do you know what those are? And can you speak to them? Off the top of my head, uh. There's a fair amount of them. Let me see if I can get, get the actual numbers up, because I think everyone's more interested in numbers. The my my favorite one is called the infected bite. Yeah, I, I took acrobatics with these with this guy because you're going to do a lot of dodging, a lot of dodging. So one thing I can say is that duplicate injuries instead of applying 80 percent of that in injury as trauma or they have duplicate injuries instead apply 80 percent of that injury as trauma compared to 66 percent in nightmare so that's one number that's going to be scary for a lot of people so more trauma and uh trauma is this stuff that builds up over on the right hand side and uh takes away parts of your maximum health. Yep. For those of you that didn't know. And then zombies can cause nearly twice as many different injuries as they do in lower difficulties. So leading to a much deeper injury stack piling up. So it's going to be very difficult to overcome those penalties as you start really getting knee deep into things. So there are more types of injuries that can be done. Does that mean the injuries that are going to be frequent? Yes. Uh, I didn't just get stuck in a rock. I think you did. I got stuck on a rock. Okay. I've never gotten stuck on that rock. Nothing's quite going right today. Sorry about that. <laughs> da, 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 da. Uh, lethal zone means car. No, I think that's just if I'm. It's driving. always good to showcase the stuck command. Dodge a zombie, right? All right, so here we go. Uh, I don't have any fire, but that's okay. Oh, I don't. Oh, and I have a suppressor. That's good. Uh. -uh. All right, so there's some injury. Nope. 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 Okay. So some of the new injuries we've got, even just from basic zombies, it's, it's a very small chance, uh, but it's called deep gouges, and it's going to cause seven trauma. Nice. The one that I'm the, the one that I'm lo really looking forward to. Uh, do you have that one in front? It, it's if you have it in front of you, it's called uh, infected bite. Yep. It's it is a brutal hundred percent chance of happening from basic zombies and it's 20 trauma and 25 percent chance resistance like you will almost always get this and it's just 20 trauma up front and it hurts it will blow you away basically and i don't know if this is in or not but um i, I think it's going to come later but the the idea of an infected bite is that uh you know you're you're now infected, and things are going to suck for a little while. Yep. All right. Come on. Stop screaming. These non-screaming screamers, they need to stop screaming. All right, we'll pop a few stimulants. Do some flying kicks. I can't recall... 
Sev, if we do the Blood Juggernaut hordes. There's just a lot going on, but yeah, no, there's going to be... We did rejigger some of the hordes, so they're going to get quite a bit more hairy, more zombies in them in general, uh, and some very some different combos that you haven't seen before. All right, so we've come up to this hospital. Um, now, when we were talking earlier about knowing mastery it's not just mastery of all of the parts of the game but it's also mastery of each map and so uh shout out to scarproof who, sh who actually was the one who taught me this a long time ago uh if you come to this particular box in this particular hospital uh here on basalt uh, uh damn it drucker county um see there it goes sorry uh anyway here in drucker county there's always, always a uh, plague cure in there. So if you're ever desperate you know, in a lethal zone, uh, anyway, Excellent. there you go. So are you saying that people should only play Drucker in re lethal zone? <laughs> no, I'm just saying like that, that Drucker County is my home and it's my favorite. And that's one of the reasons why. All right, so we're going to spend a little time up here. Spend a little time up here. We're going to need some gas at some are point. The, are the costs for building things more? Yes, they are quite a bit. All right, so uh, we are out and running around. So if I wanted to get storage level two, I need 15 materials. Now, this used to be... In Nightmare, this is still 12, so it's even it's even more, um, it, it's even larger uh, than it was before. Uh, and the thing that I really want to upgrade is I want to try to get to this infirmary grade level three. And you'll notice this used to be 20 or so materials, and now it's 25. So that's a that's a full 25% increase in the cost of getting a uh, infirmary level three. So I'm out and about. I'm looking for materials. Uh, how much chemicals? Okay, probably more than enough chemicals for the upgrade. Um, yep. So mostly I need to go find materials. So I work up, up here and running around. Uh, the second thing is I've got a plague heart nearby. So I wanted to show that off a little bit. But we've got Cash Beaumont over here. Uh, Joe, they want to see uh, your map, PPK. too. They want to see my map? Okay. So I have destroyed zero Plague Hearts. Uh, this is this is the one that's, that's really big. Um, zero out of 34 Plague Hearts destroyed. Uh, so you guys probably noticed that a little bit. That's going to be... A, it's going to be quite a change. Um, 34 Plague Hearts, so, that's... That's actually abuse 34 in some cards. cities. That's like considered abuse. Uh, well, it, it's it, it is pretty abusive, and it's we're not done explaining exactly how abusive it is. Now, uh, a lot of a lot of this comes down to um, what you think game balance is, right? Now, some people they they don't want to see something like just. The game, the, you put more health on something and you the zombies to do more damage. And so we 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 kind of leaned a lot into the Blood Plague and what it does. Uh, and so the, the Blood Plague in and of itself is is the major I'm sure uh, the major is right challenge. To, nope, the other one. Okay, go back, back. That, that other one's next week. So it's yours. we'll grab the dynamite. As much of it as we can buy, which is quite a bit. So nine bundles of dynamite. Let's go. Real quick, I want to jump in and answer Marvin's question. Let me find it again. Okay. Uh, Marvin, where is it? Scrolled on me. Marvin, are all freaks blood freaks or is it a mix? All freaks are blood freaks. Oh, and since since we're talking uh, 
the plague hearts you'll all love to know that they are much more hardy and will take a whole lot more punishment to take out so those experiences don't expect to go in and do the same thing that you've been doing so just prepare for even worse circumstances that's every every aspect of every action that you should be taking in a normal like nightmare game it's that much worse i don't think we went through anything other than i think influence we didn't change many of the costs maybe a couple not across the board but uh all the actions that you're doing yeah more painful so these plague hearts are going to be brutal all right, so I'm gonna kick, start kicking it to death. We'll start, we'll start kicking it. This is, uh, this is a shout out to Mr. Menard and the the boot crew. So thank you everybody for being here. Now, right now we've kind of cheesed this plague heart because it's inside of a, uh, it's inside of a um, safety zone on an outpost, and so it's not hard. But you can see how many more kicks it takes. Hashtag boot gang. Thank you, Malkyrie. Right? So we're sitting here. All right, let's... let's all right, let's... There we go. All right, so that many more kicks just to get it to the first... Now, we also made it so that they're more... Um, so that resistant to explosives? More resistant to explosives. Yes, thank you. Uh, it, it does take quite a bit of my... Uh, Concentration. To not die here. Sorry. Yeah, so in Nightmare, do, do, do. explosions do like minus 25% damage. We're looking at almost three times that amount of damage reduction from explosives in night or in Lethal. This is giving me anxiety just watching. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing. sorry. All right. Whoop, whoop. Oh no. Okay. Uh oh. That's two ferals. We gotta get out of here. All right. Uh, no, no touching. I said no touching. No touching. Uh, stop that. Alright, so, now we've got Plague here, and of course, uh, I don't know that this has changed, so this is probably going to despawn a lot of them. Hopefully not. Because I don't like doing that kind of cheesy stuff. But climb up here, do what you need to do to survive. All right, yeah, it looks like it despawned all of them. That's kind of cheesy. Sorry, guys. Yay! Not my controller. Yep, I'm. I never should have reset my PC. Okay. All right, now we go back in and we try to finish it with the explosives we've got. We're going to plant this one right there. Still not dead. How is it still not dead? How many plague samples do you see, Joe? Uh, not very many. For the record, this is already 10 minutes longer than the longest I've ever survived in Lethal Zone. Uh-oh, that didn't go in. Not many, not many, I mean, as a, as a, uh, overall percentage of the number of zombies that I've killed. Uh-oh. Oh dear. <laughs> uh oh. Now we're in trouble. I'm out of explosives. I'm out of explosives. Yeah, we have to kill 34 of these. 
Oh, no, 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 don't get in the cloud. There's plenty of things that we can do what? to do. Make this look how harder. many, look, look how close I was, you guys. <laughs> that's how close I was to finishing this that's off. That's the game trolling. Is uh, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to gla grab that sledgehammer. Hey, why are there still, why are there still play zombies alive here? Oh, because we took away that shockwave. Lethal zone. What? We did what? We took away the shockwave that clears out all the zombies around a play cart when you defeat it. So they all stick around. You mean you mean that there's no automatic killing of like zombies just by killing a play cart? Right. That's crazy. You gotta do that. Oh. You gotta do that 34 oh, times. So this was the first one. This was the first of so 34. Does Does that mean that if I had uh, actually succeeded in in leaving those terrible life without accidentally despawning because of the cheat, the cheesy uh, yeah. plague cure usage that they would smoke me there too. Yes, they would. What about what about plague juggernauts? Would they still be there? They would still be there. They would. They die, right? Nope. They are still there to feast upon your lovely, lovely flesh your around that big heart that you just took out. Oh no! All right, well, guys, you—I guess you. Some of you heard it here first. Um, killing plague hearts no longer just immediately completely wipes out the map of plague zombies around you. Uh, so, anyway, can you get seventy-five hearts Why on would your you map? Want to? No, no, no. If you want that, there are people. There are people in the community who can give yeah. you that. And every building is a plague heart. Actually, <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, that that folks is what you've got to look forward to uh, when it comes to the plague zones. I'm super excited. Uh, I really love like that fight. Other than the fact that I had to go, I tried I tried very hard not to cheese it. So I'm sorry, but um, it still it still happened. But uh. You can see the fights are far more intense than they used to be, uh, especially around play cards. Uh, a full clip from a dev guru might take you through the first wave, right? It might get you through the first, um, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the first, the first cloud. Barf. But it's not necessarily good. Right, it's not, but it's not going to get you all the way through. Um, Let's see here. Now, these plague bloaters, they're super nasty. Uh, luckily, luckily, you know, I, I've got I've got somebody who's got morning yoga. The guy that I've been driving away with right now. Uh, so now my injury reduction is going to be uh, increased greatly. Uh, and I have a person with uh, hygiene standards, so my um, to to be uh, increased as well, and so through the use of those two things, I'm basically taking through the use of survivor skills. I'm taking uh, night or taking taking this difficulty uh, and trying to put on a pace with something like nightmare. Okay, Scar's asked this question a couple of times. Scar, you can stop asking. Um, Joe did have that last plague heart he looked at was actually in the influence area of a um, an outpost and he's still got zombies so uh, the initial cheese was that that first getting the the first damage state on the on the heart wasn't spawning a bunch of zombies but then as soon as he got past that he obviously as you saw was uh, inundated yeah as, as soon as I got so there's a really only like uh, We'll go with Brant's term here. There's only two bar stages, right? Uh, ultimately, you get the first one, and then that should spawn like a nightmare. That should spawn. That should spawn a feral. And then um, I'm gonna go in here. I believe, and so Jason is car damage higher, which Ow. means cars will break easier. Yes. So all sources deal about double damage as opposed to like 60% that's in Nightmare. So your cars take that extra damage as well. I think 
we're at what five six zombies to t total a car right now uh if that if that yeah Jogi. but the other the other difficulty is that the other problem is that in is that in a uh, in lethal difficulty, you're not going to find that many. You're not going to find cars that are in full repair. Yep. And you're not going to find that many uh, repair kits. Repair kits either. And so uh, what you're what uh, a lot of the a lot of the, the joy that I got early on, humans are not more lethal, Ludapop. Um, we still think that humans are as hard as we wanted them to be. Um, without feeling completely unfair, we might be able to. Uh, we might we might up that again and later, depending on how people react to the zone. But for now, hostile, hostile survivors are still hostile, the same as they are in Nightmare. Um, especially with the increase. Now we haven't even gotten. So there's another boulder. So far, you've only seen singles. Um, uh, single uh, freaks, but not really like the big pack of freaks that you expect in Nightmare. Uh, the reason is, is we're still a community. As the community ages, you're going to start seeing packs of Blood Plague Ferals, uh, and those get those get really nasty. Choirs of screamers. The screamers actually like. When they go off, it's just it's kind of like they are in Heartland. They do summon in bloaters at least one um, every time they scream. Um, of course, that's the vertical scream, not the one that you saw the puke on the ground and the big the big cloud of red comes up. Uh, ultra strength rear end. No, it's it's not fixed. I think that's going to be a state of decay uh, fixture for a while. All right, let's see if I can pick it up. There we go. Angel, you you won't see me playing in in. You won't see me taking my my long term community into uh, lethal zone because I like my characters. Um, but uh, but I'm sure I'll play on stream, and you guys can all laugh at me. Um, so look, there's there's some questions about. Uh, Boons in in uh, lethal zones. Joe, can you uh, speak to that one? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have exactly what they do, but I mean, it's more it's like that next tier of boon from nightmare into uh, lethal. So yeah, you can acquire new boons. They'll increase the same kind of behaviors as you as you've seen. Uh, but yeah, the, you can earn new boons in lethal. Yeah, you have to earn them, though. Your nightmare ones aren't going to help. Yep. Uh, but, yes, uh, I would also make sure that you're building a team that um, can unlock those boons. Because if they're, the other thing is that is, is, uh, it, they do function exactly like they did in the lower tiers. So if you go into these upper zones and you haven't unlocked it yet, especially with a long-term community, that means... That they get deactivated forever. So, um, as long as you remember that part, uh, everything will be fine. Unlock them before moving. Uh, unlock, unlock before moving them. Uh, moving any of your long-term communities up, so that the boons don't get deactivated. Just unlocked for future lethal playthroughs. That's all. Excellent. So not new boons, just a new tier of boons to play in to play with in lethal. Yes, thank you, Joe. All right, so uh, ah, where are we going? I did. I still didn't get enough materials, so I guess we go this way. Oh, important question from Bright Shadow: Are there any mm -hmm. new achievements being added? Yes. We have a few select achievements being implemented with this. Uh, they're, they're fun. And they're a bit funny. Uh, so depending on your humor. <laughs> with ours is a little dark. Um, you may laugh along with us. 
Oh, look, it's my repair van. Repair van, look what I found. That's that's good business right there. Uh, we have not said when it's coming out now. Yeah, we're just now revealing it. Uh, Plague Busters and Plague Walls did not make it into the main game, Way Johnson. Sorry about that. Da -da 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 -da. So I'm going to climb this water tower and we're going to find out. Find out what we're doing. And yes, Celeste, you can move your community up to lethal. Lethal is going to be that hit extra notch that you've seen on the difficulty sliders in the in the game up to this point. And so fifth slot is now lethal. And when you change maps, you can change your difficulties. You can change your difficulty in the main in the menus and everything. So you're good to go. Get your get your community ready to go, and then switch on over and see how how, how well you do. And you can't do any worse than this guy right here. Whoever this is that's doing our gameplay today, okay. he's to having a here. tough time. You've, you've lasted longer than me. And Brant, yeah, Brant's already I, said you lasted longer than him. <laughs> I, um, the last time I playtested this, I had three communities expire in half the time Joe's been playing. Yeah. No, I, I've, I've become an expert at that new community flow at how many times I've lost communities. It's like starting from scratch, just jumping into lethal is a, almost a pure death sentence. Like I, you would have to be someone really, really, really talented, I think at this point to take a scratch community and take it to survive in lethal. Now my last scratch community, all three of my characters died in the same place at different times because I kept going back to avenge their deaths or get the gun that the one gun I had that was on yeah. the first character, I'd sneak back and, yeah. And uh, the last time, uh, I was actually killed by the reanimated corpse of one of his friends. He actually got me. <laughs> yeah, so it was, yeah, that was rough. I had... So the the, the first community I ever played in the, in the new lethal zone, I was doing I was doing okay. Like I hadn't killed any plague hearts or anything, and it, it really wasn't that wasn't my goal. Was to, it wasn't my goal to kill plague hearts. I was just trying to, you know, I was, I was trying to like farm plague samples and so on and so forth. And so I spent a lot of time around plague hearts uh, and just hunting down hunting down zombies. Now the problem was, is I very quickly ran out of infection. Uh, and not having enough, not having enough um, samples, plague yeah. samples to make cure or to remove infection. Eventually, that entire thing was lost to plague. So, um, there's a big reason why I chose the survivors that I did, and with and it's because of their hero traits or, or hero perks. Right now, we've got one that does with that has morning yoga, which reduces injury severity, and the other one reduces plague infection or increases. Uh, your plague infection resistance, and so make sure, make sure that if you're just trying to unlock, you need to be making like the best community you've ever had, most likely, uh, when you when you step up to the zone. Uh, that said, I would highly suggest you try it at least a few dozen times with fresh survivors, so that you can get a feel for the difference. Because even even with that stuff. Um, even even with the stuff that I just said, you're still going to have a diff a very different experience here in the in the lethal zone than you've had anywhere else. And so, understanding understanding that and how you need to react to it uh, is is very important. We have a truckload of zombies coming in. Okay, that's a lot of words. I don't think I have had a community where the first person who was infected didn't die outright. From a scratch community just the rates to get plague samples unless you are ultra care careful you getting into a bad fight is going to leave you with at least one survivor dead and there's nothing you can do about it <laughs> yes yeah I, that's why zombies are everywhere that's why i say don't take characters you love into this mode the first time you play it because yep. um 
chances are <laughs> they're not going to be around. Uh, yes, Bromo Sapiens. It, it, it is a new difficulty. So the lethal zone is is our newest. And the reason we named it lethal is to clearly communicate that your chance of death here is pretty high. The sieges are still the sieges are still sieges, right? So. However, as you can see, it's also a lot easier to bring in. There's a bloater that's actually headed in. This is a, this is a one minute siege, which even on Nightmare would be like four or five zombies. And as you can see, it's already more than that. I'm gonna close this gate. There you go. Oh, you got it. <laughs> well, I closed the gate so that the bloater would explode to open it. See. Nice. And then I can just, then I can just poke them, poke them as they come. Yeah, this. Wait for Marvin, my. Marvin, this is a great way to purge your survivor, for survivor pool, without a doubt. <laughs> uh, also, one of the things that we, one of the things that we didn't talk about is just exactly how much of the map is pre-looted. Now, I didn't go up here to loot any of these, but you'll notice that three of these five uh, sites up here, where I usually get a lot of materials. Three of the five are guaranteed loot, and this one uh, may or may not actually have any lootable items in it because it has a plague heart, and so I won't know until I like walk in. It is player versus world. It is absolutely for people who uh, might identify as masochists. That is true. And by the way, dead man, uh, the main play get unlock those boons achievement hunting say you've survived in lethal zone and really to put yourself to that challenge of how well you understand the game that's that's the point that we really wanted to send home with this mode with this difficulty let's see pumpkin pie not sure what you mean there uh, yeah, player vs. world makes a great comparison. Same reason why people eat super duper spicy food. This, if you're familiar <laughs> with the social media thing, uh, the one chip challenge, this is the one chip challenge of State of Decay. So one chip, I don't know that. I don't know what that is. Familiar with that. Oh, okay. It, it sounds like you dip one chip like the hottest thing you could possibly it, it, imagine. They have chips that you buy. One chip, it's like a large tortilla chip, and it's just coated in this death pepper stuff. Like, it's mostly uh, Carolina Reaper pepper, and they, they have a whole fun oh. bit to go without, with it, but, like, you might, you'll be able to get through the chip. It's the pain that comes an hour to two hours <laughs> to three hours later that is the absolute death and the absolute pain. So... You might feel comfortable starting in lethal zone, but once it hits, once that bad, bad moment hits, you are just going to feel it time and time and time again. Joe, are you suggesting that playing lethal zone will give you IBS? Uh, if you don't have it now, it certainly <laughs> will. I mean, it's, I mean, it's it one. certainly will. And if, you, and if you have it, it will certainly, it will certainly make it worse. Perfect. And to to so. quote one of our beta players, I clinched everything. <laughs> everything is what the quote was. And so, <laughs> yeah. Not, not just some things? Not just some everything. everything. Everything that can clinch was clinched. Yeah. Ooh, a heavy-duty ammo press. I don't know if I want that. Uh, Demonic Vampire, if you suck at this game too, you know what? That's why we have Green Zone for you, so that you can learn the game, come in, join in, get into that groove of understanding the game, and then as you feel like you want that additional challenge, you now have a farther achievement that you can go. We want this to feel like an accomplishment for people to complete. Plenty of people here chat who um, can help you out too. And and that's that's the great thing about the sliders, right? Like if you just want to see if you can survive combat, you can put your map on green so that you have plenty of you have plenty of uh, materials instead of like struggling to find them, um, and then you can also, uh, you know, put your uh, community on green so you get plenty of influence and you can buy all of the stuff that you want, um, and then just just put your action meter uh, on lethal. So, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, 
So you can actually sort of like mess around and 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 prioritize like what it is that you want to play, right? Like I want if I want to play super action mode, I put my community down on green, I put my map down on lethal, and then I just go for it and kill a bunch of zombies, right? Like let's leave it at lethal and I'm just going to murder everything and I'm never going to run out of bullets. This all the all lethal is mostly about showing how well you can use very few resources to kill all the zombies and the play guards. So that's the big challenge for me. Uh, you're also going to find, for those of you who maybe aren't used to it, you're also going to find hunting down rocks. Apparently hunting down <laughs> rocks is an important aspect <laughs> of surviving. But hunting uh, cases uh, is also going to be a huge help. So if you know where those are, uh, you know, previously it's not something that you really needed to do. Like I, I would do it for, I would do it for funsies, but for the most part, like you can come in here. Ooh, a timber wolf. Now I have a reason to go back and get that heavy ammo press. Heavy, yeah, the heavy ammo. Thirty-nine rounds of fifty. I've never seen that ever. That's because you're not me. I don't know. <laughs> I am the luckiest survivor alive. Uh, hey, you're gonna, if you want more information about the beta, Joe, where can you get that information? Um, so I'm gonna put the website up later, and it will also be uh, on the end screen when we do the awkward sign. Okay. Um, however, you go you go to www.beta.decay.com backslash contact. Um, I think that's the way that you do it. And after that, you should be able to just find it. All right, I don't... Get out of here. All right, now we take the heavy ammo for press. Get in the car. We got to go back to base now. But essentially, what we, we, we try to do is we try to... We, we, um, we want to make sure that people feel challenged without feeling overwhelmed. Um, there are some parts that are going to, some parts of this that might feel a little bit unfair, but I think for the most part we, uh, I, I feel like we've done a really good job of, of putting a challenge out there for our um, high -end players. Um, how are you? How are you going to do? I'm, gonna, I'm just sitting here driving my door open for no reason. Um, how are you going to choose to do this? What? What? of traits do you want to go for? Do you want to try to do this in a speed run? Uh, which somebody 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 already has, and I won't say his name, but it's it rhymes with schmall bound hodoon. Ho, ho uh, so anyway, that guy has already done some speed runs because he's in the beta. Uh, if you sign up for the beta, you'll get to, uh, you, you get, once you're in, you're in for good on Steam, and as we put more stuff out into out into the beta, you get to test new features, kind of like this zone. Um, but uh, I can tell you, there's there's a lot more really exciting stuff coming, uh, even beyond this zone, uh, which I also find it. I find this is uh, also one of the big reasons why I really like being here. Uh, what am I We've doing got that? some, yeah, in combination with with this, some of the things that the team is working on is going to, yeah, it's they're just game changers, guys. Just bear with us. Um, oh, I would like to, I, oh, I would oh. like to say. I didn't see what time it is. 3.55. I would like to say really quick that Jeffrey uh, chimed in from sabbatical land and said to tune lethal zone. Basically, I just kept jacking up all the numbers until Joe lost the character. Yes, uh, and and Brian, Brian uh, before him, basically Brian, uh, basically had tuned everything to what he called the most insanely logical, but yet staying within the logical realm of of doable that he could think of, and then he set me free on it. And I don't know that we've tuned anything to be easier for the player since then. Uh, everything, everything, every change that Jeffrey did was to 
somehow make it harder. I think the one thing we did do was, was related to um, vehicle difficulty, but it's still like it's it's even they're they're basically still paper, even in comparison to Nightmare, uh, which a lot of people complain about. Uh, I did have one more thing that I wanted to say. We've got. Uh, so this is this is our lethal zone, folks. As you can see, um, I guess I didn't do it justice, other than right right at the beginning when I tried to get killed. Um, but this is this is what you got look at, to look forward to uh, throughout here. Now um, I do want to do want to say thanks to everybody who's answering out there, and sorry that I'm so disjointed today. Um, but my thoughts between like posting and doing this stuff. Uh, Play, play, in, play in Lethal Zone takes a lot more concentration uh, than even Nightmare. So, uh, but we do have one more thing on the agenda that I want to get to really quick, and it was talking about this stuff. So we haven't done a community spotlight in a while, and we just finished a pretty major update, or a pretty major contest, and I just want to make sure that everybody um, knows exactly how much we appreciate this. We went through all of the entries, all 21 of them, uh, that were that were correct, um, and and so um, we're gonna go through my personal favorites. Okay, so uh, let's see how well see how well I did here. All right, so first up is Squish Roar. Now this is number one, right? So this is the you've got red on you. You can tell. That there's the cricket bat right back there. Uh, you can see the, you can see the cricket bat in the in there, but the exploding guts all over everything. What a great capture! Perfect. Uh, I think Squishwar was also the one we went with with for being number one. Um, so I don't know. All right, this doesn't look like it's aligned properly, but we're going forward. Let's do it. All right. Uh, number two, they're just not for they're not just for vampires anymore. So you can see, uh, Big Lou here has has the senior pokey out and is attacking a plague heart. Uh, just exactly what you should be doing. And of course, it's a plague heart that is clearly in one of these seconds auto shops. Perfect shot, Big Lou. Uh, I'd also like to give a shout out to the use of. I'm assuming you were using the uh, flaming line uh, mines here, uh, but. The red light that you were able to add there on the bottom, just super, super awesome. Um, next up, now this one, this one was number three, and the the the, the hint here was eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which, for those of you who don't know, if you're here, I'd be very surprised if you didn't know, was a reference to the the Negan uh, Negan scene. From The Walking Dead, both in the books and in the show, and uh, oddly, Lemony here. You you can you can kind of see it. She's beating an actual survivor to death here. This isn't a zombie that she's 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 beating somebody down with Negan's uh, with Negan's bat. And I absolutely love this shot. Um, nicely nicely done. Um, Number four, Ben, you know who you are. All right, so Ben, I was super impressed with this one. I really love this shot for two reasons. One, this is the Terminator, right? So you, you can see he's got the 1911 long slide with the laser sighting. Uh, and it also kind of refers back to a little bit back to Terminator 2 as well, because the guy that he's asking to take the clothes from has the full on biker outfit. So nicely done, nicely done. Well done, Ben. Uh, now, Lucas, I really liked this one. This was this was the uh, Spinal Tap clue, uh, and you guys did a really super awesome uh, shot here. Uh, everybody uh, did really well here, but I really liked this one because you can see the boom box in the background, and he's just going for it like up on top of the up on top of the uh, raised area. There, it was super great, and uh, Lucas, you did a great job. I love this shot. Yeah. All of um, these are amazing, considering this is these are all amazing shots in a game that doesn't have a camera mode. <laughs> you guys are, all yeah. of you people have done amazing work. This is really great. Um, and then, this was 
for now i really loved this one this was the face off uh this is the face off one and I, I i really i really liked this one a lot there were a lot of good ones but steve steve you came up with the great one steve you should know who you are um i liked this one because not only does it are you wearing the correct juggernaut mask, but you're standing next to a juggernaut who you could have just ripped it, ripped it off of. And every part of me just screams, yes, this is super awesome. So great job, Steve, good job. Um, and then I think we've got, is it two more or one more? Nope, just last one. And then Jen, Jen, you were definitely in our top five and this was the one that got you there. Uh, I, really, I really liked the fact that you got into the hack and slash so much from the Friday the 13th, the slasher movie type stuff. Uh, and uh, it, it's just, it just looks great. So nice job. You you can see the, the blood coming off the zombie there and you're just hacking and slashing everything in sight. So well done, Jen. Well done to everybody who came in. Uh, that's our community spotlight for, for this week. Uh, and that puts us way past the hour anyway. So without further ado, Let's uh, go ahead and hop on back up here. Lord Nash, uh, sorry, now. Lord Nash, we don't we don't have a release date for this. And it looks like everybody's back to normal size now, so that's great, which means it's all off center. Uh, other Joe? Yes, Other Joe. Our lethal producer. Would you like to say goodbye to the people? Well, goodbye, everybody. Thanks for coming out to the stream, asking questions. It's been a long time coming. Like I mentioned at the top of the stream, we've wanted to do this since Green Zone shift. We already knew that was an idea, but your response really fed us and really gave us the momentum and the need to do this. So we're happy to do this work, happy to make our hardcore players have something to look forward to and just really excited for everyone to get their hands on this as soon as it's out. Uh, Brant? Uh, as usual, thanks everybody for spending time with us today. We love sharing this stuff with you and uh, um, can't wait to uh, see the results of this out in the wild when when we release this patch. So, Yeah, I, I, I am I am very much in the same boat. As you can see, I really like I really like the, uh, the lethal zone. I really appreciate all of you all being here. Uh, it means a lot to us that you come here every week. Um, and 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 watch our stream uh, for news and updates and what's going on in the lab. And so uh, stay safe out there, stay sane. We love you, and we want to see you back next week. Uh, without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and get on out of here. See you, buddy. So we should have we okay. should have called this abusive zone because man. <laughs> yeah. Well. I don't know how abusive it is, honestly. You know, I'm a survivor. It seemed pretty fair to me. I mean, Joe didn't die. Clearly, it's not hard no. enough. We're going to have to do something, something major. But I don't know what it is. I'm sure we'll think of something in the near future. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe.